Congratulations. Hurry up, Ed. 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 What's your hurry? Well, we got people are watching. Well, you know, they can tune in whenever they as want. As far as you know. We're off. Yeah, I'm sorry you missed the Sandy the Uncorked event. Uh, I am, too. Uh, I, 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 I suggest anybody that that, uh, s that is part of this club or gets our emails, go to this thing. It's, ne it's usually in March. This year was in June. It's called Sandy the Uncorked. It's at the great race place, Sandy the Racetrack, probably the premier racetrack in, in, in America. By far, uh, way nicer than Churchill Downs. I know you're not a horse person, but... Um, no. And I did have number 11 as my insurance bet in the Belmont Stakes. I know that thrills you to death. So I lost no money on the race. Though I had bet plenty on California Chrome, who dogged in at fourth place. You knew that already, right? Yes, I, it was all over the news. Um, but I, I hate to interrupt you talking about the people that tuned in to find out about the limited series wines. Um, but is uh, it okay? July fourteenth, just two thousand fourteen. Two thousand four. Can we is, can we talk about those now? Oh, or do meal cut Or would you like me to tell you about what I did uh, last weekend? <laughs> it wasn't last weekend. It was June seventh. <laughs> Whatever. Um, do meal cut That's two thousand fourteen in French. Ed. Oh, good. Yes, he comes back from France, and all of a sudden he's telling me how to speak French. <laughs> somebody told me. Somebody gave me a great thing. You remember Fred Gold? He used to sell yeah. a lot of stuff to us yeah. from Victoire and stuff. Mm -hmm. He goes, I speak perfect. Uh, wine label French. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do too. <laughs> I wouldn't call it perfect, Ed. I would. Okay, Cos Blanc. This is, a, this is from the Provence. It's Cabernet Sauvignon, and it's absolutely phenomenal. Mm. Oh, where did I get this? It's IG, IGP. Mm -hmm. Well, what's oh, interesting? From wine, wine situation. Wine, wine situation. Mm -hmm. Two yeah. W. He calls us a two W S. Now this is this really is interesting because this is a 2013, so it's barely been in the bottle. 2013 was one the worst vintage in Bordeaux in history and parts all parts of France and parts of Italy. 2013 was a total and complete disaster. Here's a wine from the Provence, obviously not hit by what happened in Bordeaux. The wine's amazing. It's great. Absolutely amazing. I forgot that this is where it came from. Yeah, I mean, twenty six ninety nine in a shell. Where'd you come from? That's what I, 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 <laughs> I, I question that myself, and I've been questioning it for my whole life. Uh, Fifteen ninety nine in a shelf, and I, you know, and because it's in two thousand thirteen, I'm going to give it a ninety six. I mean, it's so Other Cabernet. 96. It is so it is. Cabernet. It's great. In fact, so fact, it really almost tastes like Bordeaux. And you would think it's a New World Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Uh, the ones you brought today, Ed brought me some Bordeaux. They were very good, Club on Accord. And a little more acidic than this one is because it's from the different district, but certainly the quality. Well, it's more Bordeaux like. I mean, yeah, yeah. but it's really This great. is amazing. So I'm I'll doing... give it a 95, a 96. Okay, fine. Hike. This is from Wine Wine Situated. Roland. Christophe Roland. Christophe Roland. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh, Cabernet Franc. Cabernet Franc. Oh, Cabernet Franc. This is our friends who bring in. Primarily, these guys bring in um, Argentinian wines. And but this they, comes from San Inez Valley. It comes from San Inez, another bizarre district for a Bordeaux varietal, mm -hmm. right? Well, not anymore. I mean, this is, this is Cabernet Franc, isn't it, mostly? It is. Okay, well, but Cabernet Franc has, has proven to, to grow unbelievably well in the San Inez Valley. First of all, San Inez Valley isn't cool like Santa Barbara is. It gets no, pretty hot gets warm, there. Yeah. You know, it gets very, very warm. And... The wine's amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, for Fred, one, to have a bottle solely as Cabernet Franc is pretty unusual because the color, the depth of mm -hmm. the color is amazing, which doesn't usually have that depth. Wow. And it's got wonderful gripping acid in it. Boy, tannin. That Man, it's a big wine. Boy. Why do they have like a gavel on their thing? $25.99 on the shelf. $15.99. That's a killer wine for $15.99. You, I, you know, I, if this wine came from Napa, it would be 50 or 60 bucks. I guarantee it. It has a structure for that, for I'm, sure. I'm doing a 98. I think this wine's out of this world. 98, hey, 98. Yeah. And it's got that little weedy, and yet cranberry sort of Cabernet Franc. I go 97. And the, uh, 97. But the, the aging potential of this is amazing. Off the charts. I, I, you know, this is a 10 year wine, yeah. easily, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really, really nice. The oak balance is perfect, actually. Yeah, it's really well made. Oak balance. And it's called M. Because, oh, it's, um, yeah, they made Martin it somewhere Lockdown. else. Yeah, but uh, it's Martin a family. Lockdown. It's a family run on operation, and they obviously know what they're doing, as opposed to the two of oh, us. Oh, delivers an old world sensibility. 
What the hell is that? Mean? I don't have <laughs> any overall sensibility. <laughs> Obviously, there wasn't any sensibility in the naming of the wine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a this is a fun one, Pinot Grigio. And from this is a, what our third Pinot Grigio this month? What I know they going? just keep coming. But the one I like is it's from the Friuli. It's got a little age in the depth. It's a 2011, but a little age in the nose, and that's what I really liked about it. It's just really fun, and it's from a guy who just you know he, I don't know where he finds his wines. But I love this. One of the things I like about Italian white wines in general. Oh wow! Not just like Pinot Grigios. But I love the Arnesses and the and the oh, Anzolias and the Caratos. All those wines from the unusual indigenous grapes. And this is not that, but it has the character of some of these. Yeah, it does. It does have some Catarato uh, 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 components in there that you know that kind of spicy fruit that's kind of cool, but really good gripping acidity. I love it. You know, it's fabulous. It wine. just reminds me of Italian white wine. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't remind me of bright, crisp Pinot Grigio. It's it pretty me bright of, and crisp. It reminds me of wonderful depth of flavor, white Italian wine. Twenty-two ninety-nine on the shelf, thirteen ninety-nine on a reorder price, and 